What's going on, fellow farmers? Well, the time has come. Supposedly, this is the last three fact sheets, according to uh, one of the Giants developers. Um, again, uh, it's a few days behind. Uh, if you're new to the channel, my things don't happen to typically come out on time because of work related being busy at home etc etc cetera, et cetera. <clears throat> um, but I do attempt to try to get them out to try to help reach as many people as possible that either may not know enough about the game or may be interested in, in finding out what the game is about um, this is a farming game. Uh, this game has been around since I believe the early the earliest was like 2007, 2008. And uh, odd numbers like FS 15, 17, 19 are typically on PC and console while even numbers like 14 16 18 are on mobile or tablet or whatever anyway um, I'd also would like to add something when I get to the end of this regarding FS 19 and the people out there who play it so Without further ado, now people were kind of upset regarding um, Case and New Holland, John Deere not having a bigger harvester. And I knew it would probably be a matter of time before Case and New Holland arrived. However, they said that originally that there was only going to be one John Deere harvester, and there ended up in, they ended up having to produce another one, which it's kind of hard to say whether it was just a a surprise or if it was a last minute decision or what it was. But anyway, this is a case axial flow ninety two forty. The cost is 420,000 euros with a horsepower range of 466 kilowatts or 634 horsepower. Fuel capacity is 1200 liters with a running speed of 40 kilometers per hour or 24 miles per hour. Grain tank holds 14,400 liters and you can change the wheel brand or wheel setup standard and wide tires. The header is a 3162 Terraflex Draper 45 foot or 13.7 meter. Uh, the working speed is 10 kilometers per hour or 6 miles per hour. Our next is the Case IH Magnum series with a horsepower range of 301 to 320 kilowatts or 409 to 435 horsepower. The cost is 321,000 euros with a fuel capacity of 617 liters. Running speed is 50 kilometers per hour or 31 miles per hour. It also has wheel setup and, and engine setup, which you have standard wheel weights, wide tires, wide tires, plus wheel weights, narrow twin wheels, twin wheels, rear twin wheels, and crawler tracks. Behind it is a Kinsey 1051 grain cart. Now, for those of you that remember, there was another Kinsey that was out. It was like an 851 or something like that. So this is the bigger version. Now, do I know whether or not this is the biggest that Kinsey makes? I haven't, I haven't a clue. I couldn't tell you. Uh, maybe somebody in the comments can say otherwise. Anyway, it is an Argo wagon. With a cost of 74,000 euros, 
It needs a working horsepower of 177 kilowatts or 240 horses. The tank capacity is 37,000 liters and you can change the wheel brand or wheel setup, standard, wide tires, and crawler tracks. And it holds a variety of different products. Almost universal, but not quite. Last on our list, and this really pissed me off. Really pissed me off. Originally, you know, some people may think otherwise. Originally, on their website, there was an 800 and a 900 series. Yes, I understand that a 700 series obviously exists. However, if Fent had a 1050, why in the hell the Challenger did not, it did, did Giants did not put in a Challenger 1000 series? Can somebody actually give me an honest answer of why? That was so stupid. And it's been it's been kind of stupid for a while now, but I don't understand. Anyway, this is the MT seven hundred series. The cost is three hundred and eighty seven thousand euros. Engine power of two hundred and seventy nine or three hundred and seventeen kilowatts or three hundred and eighty to four hundred and thirty one horsepower. Fuel capacity is six hundred and eighty one liters with a running speed of 40 kilometers per hour or 24 miles per hour. It has engine setup and wheel setup, standard 3 meter tracks. Um, behind it is an Amazon, or Amazon, however you pronounce it, Cenius or Cenus 8003-2TX Super. It is a cultivator with a cost of 68,000 euros and it needs an operating horsepower of 294 kilowatts or 400 horsepower. The running speed, or operating speed rather, is 15 kilometers per hour or 9 miles per hour and it is 8 meters or 26 feet. Now, again, that part alone I didn't understand. There's a lot of parts that I don't understand, but those things that I don't understand may come in a video later once the game actually drops which will be let's see what is today's date today is sunday november 18th so we have two days um am i right is that right i think it's i think that's right i'm almost certain anyway um Either or, depending on where you live, it'll be either the 19th or 20th, I, for, I forgot. You know, it's just one of those things that's not important. It's, I've already pre-ordered it. It's waiting on Steam. I'll get it when I get it. However, that's what brings me into the next topic. There's many people, many people out there who received a pre-release or a press release or whatever the hell you want to call it and those people who received it some have abused it some have showcased it in a proper manner and some didn't care whether they got it or not but they got it anyway and you're talking about communities that were so minuscule where well, they had absolutely zero videos on their YouTube or Twitch they didn't stream that often it'd be like them giving me a pre-release I don't have the community for it and I wouldn't expect them to give it to me I wouldn't want it you know and, you know if I had a community of like I don't know 10,000 people then yeah maybe but as little as my community is, and, and there's smaller communities out there that received a pre-release of this game and have either abused it, not played it at all, or showcased it in a manner of which wasn't correct. Um, and there is some that actually did show it correctly. 
Now, you know, I don't, I don't understand the whole stipulations behind who gets a copy and who doesn't. Um, and I'm not even complaining that I didn't get one because, I, like I said, I don't have the community for it. However, I am involved in communities and certain communities out there should have got it. They should have been able to, to give their honest opinion, feedback, etc., etc., etc. Um, as of within the last two days, somebody in the community of all communities that received a pre-release version of this has cracked the game and uploaded it to several websites. Now, I look at look at it like it being many faults here. Number one, giants themselves needed to monitor who they gave the copy to. Secondly, those people who received a copy should have only received a copy with a key specifically for that you know particular game, and it would not have been able to have been distributed elsewhere without another generated key of some kind. Also, you, if if giants and home focus were more like Rockstar and Take Two and actually crack down on these people who crack the game or it generally who got a copy of a pre-release or whatever that they should be able to take it further than just banning them from their website or uh, not giving them access to certain things. They should actually take it a step further and proceed to go to court with it. Um, now I compare the, I compare Giants and Home uh, I think it's Home Focus, maybe Focus Home, I, I don't know. But anyway, whoever their publisher is. I compare them to Rockstar and Take Two because Rockstar and Take Two, whenever they have an, a situation of where someone in, in their community has done something they shouldn't have done per se, say for example, if someone hacked the game. Now I look at it I look at it like whoever cracked this particular pre release, I look at them as a hacker. Just as you would look at GTA five online and hackers in it. Take two has taken the initiative to take people to court over doing such. So why should giants and focus be any different. This is not a lecture. This is just me speaking what's on my mind. If you are an individual out there who has received a pre release, or an individual out there who's received uh, a copy of a copy or downloaded said game, please don't use it. Please don't play it. Just ignore it, delete it, whatever you got to do, and actually purchase the game legit. Because, for one, you don't need to get in trouble. And two, the game itself, the cracked copy, will not get the updates that it should, you know, should need as the actual release version will. Um, that, that's, that's it, pretty much all I've got to say about it. You know, I, there's, there's not really much more I can say that yeah, there has been mistakes made and I was hoping, you know, in the past Giants has made mistakes, um, with other people 
horse equipment, for example. Uh, they had some kind of an event and gave out, you know, uh, pre-release copies of a map and uh, some equipment or whatever. And someone out of that crowd actually cracked it and distributed a free version out. I mean, it the game, the the stuff was going to be free anyway. But the whole point behind it is, is that once you got that copy, that copy was yours, and it should not have been released to other people, especially when other people were going to get it anyway. But again, there was a couple of mistakes made. Number one, if you've got you know an add-on or a pre uh, uh, a DLC or whatever you want to call it submit a key with that copy and why not go the extra mile and actually have those files encrypted in such a fashion that it would take someone a long time to be able to get into it anyway it's all said and done it's over with now um you know i mean i'm just saying what's on my mind as far as it and you know that's all we can do anyway um i'm not sure where i'm gonna go with this is next i don't i don't have any extras added into this video um i didn't see anything that really caught my eye that was an extra that wasn't already mentioned in the fact sheets um so that's going to be it, and uh, wherever I get to from here, as far as the game itself, I'm not sure. I'm not sure when I'm going to have time to, to do any uploads or anything of it. Um, we'll just have to play it all by ear. Anyway, you guys take care. I'll catch you in the next one.